swastika and the Union Jack fly side by side on the Munich airport. And from the moment that Mr. Chamberlain steps onto German soil, we present a complete record of the historic journey of Britain's Prime Minister. From the airport, he drives past Hiles and Cheers to the station, where a special train waits to carry him up towards the mountains of Berchtesgaden. With the snow-capped peaks in the distance, with the mountain wind swishing past him, Mr. Chamberlain drives up the steep road to the chalet that the German Chancellor has made his home. As the car comes up the long drive, a Hitler is on the steps to meet his guests. And the moment has come when the Prime Minister of Britain and the Chancellor of Germany clasp each other's hands. In such superb surroundings, the fateful talks begin. And the next day, Mr. Chamberlain is back at Heston. Yesterday afternoon, I had a long talk with Herr Hitler. It was a frank talk, but it was a friendly one. And I feel satisfied now that each of us fully understands what is in the mind of the other. Yeah, yeah. All right. yeah. I'm going to have another talk with Herr Hitler. Only this time, he has told me that it is his intention to come halfway to meet me. <laughs> he wishes to spare an old man another such a long journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>